A new set of rules for skaters at Wynwood Skate Center. Now skaters under the age of 18 must have a chaperone with them who's over 21. This comes after a large disturbance at the rink New Year's Eve. There were claims of shots being fired inside. Police say they have no reports of an actual shooting. Fox Force Tia Johnson live near the Clay County Skating Rink in the Northland after talking to rink owners. Tia, what did they have to say? Well, John, the co one of the co-owners, Luke Powell, says they wanted to give kids a fun environment, but a couple of bad apples ruined it. He said this new policy was recommended by Kansas City Police. Meanwhile, one mom I talked to said she's still not taking her kids back. I was thinking, like, you know, it's New Year's Eve. We don't have any plans. Let's just go ahead and bring in the New Year in the skating rink. Instead, Carla Wood says she spent the night protecting her kids. It was just traumatizing, and I honestly never thought that I would be in a position like that. Woods and her family were among dozens of skaters at Wynwood Skate Center for a New Year's Eve balloon drop. Long before the clock struck 12, chaos erupted. As soon as I got my skates off, I seen all of the kids running our way, and I heard somebody say they, they're shooting. So immediately I told my kids, Get on the ground. But Luke Powell, a co-owner of the skating rink, says no shots were fired. He says the uproar started after a fight between a girl and a boy. A boy got slapped in the face by a young teenage girl. Um, rather than retaliating against her, he punched one of our pinball games, broke the glass, and everybody thought it was something else and started running for the doors. Powell says the skating rink closed for the night after that and much more happened outside. The Clay County Sheriff's Office responded to a disturbance call at the skating rink. The department says two teenagers were fighting at a nearby parking lot and one of the teens had a gun. But we watched and KCPD watched all of our footage and did not see this kid walk in the building at all, ever. So it is the under the assumption of KCPD that he came from elsewhere. Now the skating rink has new policies moving forward, but parents like Woods say they still won't be back. So I feel like it needs to be other measures because whether or not you with an adult, what does that mean? And Carla also tells us she's upset the skating rink won't give her a refund. Instead, they're giving her free passes, but she says she doesn't want that. I asked Powell about that policy, and she said that he said that's the skating rink's policy. Tia Johnson, Fox 4, working for you.